This is Earth Files, the award-winning news site with the latest updates in science, environment, and real X-Files. Podcasting in-depth reports beyond the 6 o'clock news by Emmy Award-winning journalist Linda Moulton Howe. Thomas Coleman Shepard entered the U.S. Navy in September 1975. One year later, on Thanksgiving night, 1976, Shepard and two other Navy men saw photographs and documents in a top-secret magic file about extraterrestrial biological entities. The location was a classified vault at White Beach Naval Facility in Okinawa, Japan. Retired Chief Yeoman Shepard has now gone on the record for the first time with Earth Files reporter and editor Linda Moulton Howe. This is an excerpt from a half hour Earth Files vodcast soon to be available at earthfiles.com. And I looked at the documents, and there was a lot of, um, you know, red ink, top secret. Um, one of the words was magic, and magic was spelt with a J. And I even made a comment to Howard. I said, look at here, they can't even spell magic right. It's spelled it with a J. It just looked like an old file, but the, the gauge of the year would have to be from the, uh, the 30s or the 40s, just based on the truck. The aliens sort of looked like that one down in the, uh, the Roswell Museum, but, but different too. Um, because it's black and white, you couldn't really get uh, a lot of uh, tone with the um, kind of skin it had. But if I had to describe it at all, it would have been like, like snake skin in sort of a way. Can you explain that further? They had a whitish kind of appearance, but you could tell it had some color to it. And if I had to describe it as matches any other type of animal that I know of, it would have been like, like that of a white snake, say. And could you discern scales? Not really, no. No, but you could tell that there were, there were they just looked like bumps, and, and who knows what they were. I tried to get as best to make it look as, as real as I could by not giving too much detail with the eyes. But the eyes, the sockets are very almond-shaped, and, they, and they're fatter up here, and they skinny down, okay? They're fatter here, and they skinny down. And the blotting I'm trying to describe here, okay, uh, looks sort of, um, well, veiny, I guess you could say, or just bumps, and, and that was the best I could describe it here. And this reminded you of reptilian? Yeah, you could tell it, that it was sort of reptilian-ish. I tried to make a description of how long its fingers are and in comparison to its wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a better drawing, okay, of, of its um, hand, palm in this fashion, all right, without a thumb. If it had a thumb, it was just sort of a, a nib-looking thing here. And it did have these slanted tip fingertips and on the tips you could tell it was sort of a, uh, a roundness or what I call a suction cup. Linda, there is nothing on this earth that we know of that looks anything like this. It's not a human being. I'm telling you straight up. It wasn't a monkey. It wasn't an animal of any kind. It was like nothing that I had ever seen. I, and that's all I could say. It, it was definitely not a human. It was definitely not an animal that we know of. What emotion did you feel? I was in shock. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I mean, I didn't want to believe it. I, I couldn't even accept it at the time. It took hours for me to even accept what I had saw. Even with a guy that was older than me that was telling me, look at what you're looking at here, okay? These were not fakes. This was real stuff. I was overwhelmed. Thanks for listening to this Earth Files podcast from the edges of science, environment, and real X-Files. Go to www.earthfiles.com to see more than a thousand Earth Files reports with photographs, drawings, and documents. And visit Earth Files every day, every week for new reports and new podcasts. That's www.earthfiles.com.